Hello fellas, welcome to my channel. This is Stella's Art Studio and for today's vlog is going to be a gouache paint tutorial So if you like aesthetic landscape, you might enjoy this video So do me a favor and hit subscribe and keep on watching I will be sharing the art materials I used for this painting. These are the only types of brush I used. The angled flat brush in two different sizes and the hook line paint brush in two different sizes as well. As for my journal, I use the handbook journal. This is the 300 GSM in the size A5 and I also use spray bottle to moist my gouache paint as for my gouache paint i use the Hemi Mia gouache paint in 18 colors and this is a jolly gouache all of this art materials are from shopee and i will put the link in my description so you can check it out so for today's art tutorial i got my reference photo from pinterest shared by the account name popio so i guess we can start painting always remember to start your painting with the background and work your way down to get that ombre effect then gradually add white to your paint to make it lighter and i have my rules to get that really good blending number one use sample amount of paint this is for the colors to blend well together number two get rid of the excess water in your paintbrush this is to avoid washing off the paint you already put onto the paper so wipe off the excess water using cloth or tissue third always clean your brush when you change the color this is to avoid muddy painting lastly when using white for the background always work your way up so that you will have a smooth blending Once the background is completely dry, you can sketch an outline for the house and start painting the base color. When you think your base color is too thin, you can always add another layer. this point I started painting the midground and you don't really have to put so much details because you just want to have that depth of field effect so blend it with a clean and damp brush At this point, put shadows after the base color to see the contrast in your drawing. I like to put my highlights in the end to finalize my drawing. And don't forget to add details in your drawing to make it more realistic.
major clouds and blend it in the sky using a damp brush.